Well, I've got one question for you. Do you like to putt on rough, bumpy greens, or do you like to putt on really smooth greens? Well, I think 100% of you are gonna agree with me, and I like to putt on really nice, smooth greens. Well, it's our responsibility as the golfer to help maintain these greens as being smooth by us fixing ball marks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to properly fix a ball mark and talk to you about the, what happens when you don't fix a ball mark and then leave you with the saying that was said to me as I was a kid or the way that we were taught. And that's fix your ball mark plus one. Let's jump into this video. Well, good morning, everybody. And it is a beautiful morning here in Mobile, Alabama for June. Um, I am out on the 16th green. It's just after seven o'clock. No play has been out here yet. They have just mowed the green and it looks fantastic. Now, golf course superintendents and the grounds crew, they work very, very hard to try and keep the golf course in good shape. Us as golfers, we like to complain about them anytime we see the golf course in bad shape. But us golfers also have to ha understand that we have a responsibility in helping to maintain this golf course. And fixing your ball mark is a big one. And it is one of my biggest pet peeves that, that there is in golf, getting out on the golf course and just seeing ball marks. All it shows me is that golfers are lazy. A lot of golfers say, well, you got to teach people how to do it. 98% of the people that are playing golf understand that they're supposed to fix a ball mark. You go out here on this golf course and get out there late morning and everybody that's played in the morning has been playing golf for years, yet there's ball marks everywhere. What happens when we don't fix a ball mark? Well, that spot stays in indention the next morning, the greens mower rolls over it and it's gonna just now take time to repair. Let me find you a couple here on the green and show you. All right, so here is a great example of a pitch mark that was not repaired. And again, I'm on the 16th green this morning and there has been no play yet. Here again, a pitch mark that was not repaired. Now notice, I am not walking very far. I'm not having to search all over this green to find these unfixed pitch marks. Here's one right here that's a definitely a couple of days old. So you can see that over cumulative days, if ball marks are not repaired properly, this green's gonna look terrible. And who are the first people that complain? The golfers. And who do they complain about? The superintendent. Well, listen, we can't employ somebody to stand at every single green and fix every ball mark that you leave. It's your job to fix the ball mark. Now, let me show you a couple of different tools and different things that we can use to fix a ball mark. Obviously, the first one and the most simple one is just a tee. Everybody's got a tee in their pocket when they're playing golf, okay? Second one, a dedicated divot repair tool okay this one is a little metal one that has two prongs on it okay these are nice to have in your pocket they don't take up much room now my newest favorite one are these right here okay these are a little this one's plastic it's got a little spot right there that you just hold your thumb and then these you just kind of jab into the ground and this plastic part here kind of pushes that ball mark into play. I really, really like these. I've got our PGA section actually supplies these on the first tee of a tournament. I've got a couple of them in each bag of mine. Now, let me show you how to actually use one. So the mistake that I see most people do when they're fixing a ball mark is they like to put whatever the implement is around the ball mark and lift. And they go around the pitch mark and they lift. Then they smooth it out. Well, that does a couple of things wrong. One, it's taking the dirt from the center of the ball mark and bringing it up to the surface. So you don't really end up with a grass top to that repaired surface. There's a lot of dirt involved there. But the other thing that happens when you lift, you are creating a little bit of an air gap down there underneath the soil that over time 
that grass is going to drop into. So lifting doesn't really repair the mark very well. What you want to do is you want to go into the ground and pull back towards the middle. Now, at the very end, there might be just a tiny bit of little lifting going on just to make it smooth, but the best thing to do is pull towards the middle. Now, I've created a couple ball marks up here, and I'm going to fix one with the T, one with the divot tool, and then one with my divot tool, my favorite. So let's see. So here are the three ball marks that I have created here, here, and here. And you can see the ball was coming in from this direction. Now I threw these, obviously I didn't hit three shots out there and create these. I'm not that good, but it bulges out around the back of that. Cause the ball's coming in this way and it kind of explodes the grass out. That's what we need to take and we need to repair. So I'm going to repair one with the T. I put it in the ground outside the pitch mark and just pull back towards the middle. Now our greens were just aerified about a week or so ago. So they are very soft right now and they are creating ball marks pretty easily. And so you got to be a little careful when they've been aerated because that grass in that soil is a little loose, but there you go. Now that takes no time at all to repair. Now let me repair the second one with the little divot tool. Again, same thing, in the ground, very easy, pull from the outside, maybe a tiny little lift in the middle, but then tap it down with your putter. Now, when the golfers finally get to this hole this morning, they're never gonna know that I created these pitch marks. Here's an old one right there from a couple of days ago. Just looks absolutely terrible. Now, last one with this little divot tool that I'm gonna show you why I love this tool so much. Makes fixing the pitch mark easier, but you just take it and you just jab around the outside and it kind of takes care of pushing that pitch mark back into place. Tap it down with your putter and voila. We have a smooth putting surface where three pitch marks used to be that now is, are not going to affect my putt. Well, it's just that easy. If you're not fixing pitch marks, you are a lazy golfer who has absolutely zero consideration for the other people that play golf at your golf course. And you know, to me, I just don't understand it. This is the course that you play wherever you are. That's the golf course that you play. Why would you not want that golf course to be in the best shape it can possibly be? Well, if it's going to maintain the best shape it can possibly be, you, the golfer, have to do your part. And a big, big part is fixing pitch marks. Now, let me go back to the way I was taught to do it. The saying was, fix your pitch mark plus one more fix your pitch mark plus one now if everybody did that we would have the nicest smoothest surface to putt on and everybody would enjoy the golf course so much more so listen get out on the golf course do your job fix your ball marks even if you don't hit the green and you're walking up onto the green and you see a pitch mark oh the gnats are out today fix it don't walk by it. Don't complain that people aren't fixing pitch marks. Fix the pitch mark. Well, listen, y'all have a great day. And if you're a golfer who wants everybody else to do their part and do their job on the golf course, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Hey, share this video, put it out there. Keep spreading this word to all the golfers out there that, hey, we need to do our part in keeping this golf course in great shape. Well, y'all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.